when you think of Miami, you think of fast cars, flashy jewelry, and the clubs, you know? The routine is, is to show off, to stunt. And they just want to show their ass. That's what it is. Look at me, look at me, look at me. My industry survives on that, strives on that, lives off that. Car business in general is a tough business. So the car rental business, even more so. Anybody that finds out that you can make money and drive a Ferrari, I mean, they're diving in head first. There's so many real celebrities out here. Everybody wants to be a celebrity, you know what I'm saying? So you get a little Lambo, get a little Ferrari. People look at you, you know, people go crazy. You're a celebrity, you know what I'm saying? Who's that? I want to know who that is, you know? Money attracts money, man. And uh, that's the lifestyle, period. You know what I mean? If you don't got it, you're going to act like you got it. The game is finesse. Everybody in this room has lied one time in their life. I just want to be blunt. Have you been finessing me? Bro, I just fucking t I just fucking told you, but you always like to act stupid and you waste do time doing that. Two different people. Doggy, we I paid Maddie because Maddie took care of him. Okay. He's the one that stole them from them. Uh -huh. So we're paying so him. That, technically they're not his anymore. Technically. Did we get paid? Technically? Did are we get a thousand dollars for a raise for four days? Are they his? All right, awesome. go. Where are you going? My keys. Oh. So this is it. We're one of the only companies out here with an actual showroom. We're not just in a warehouse. Got every toy you can think of, starting with the uh, Rolls Royce Wraith, one of our most popular cars. Take you guys down to the 488, one of our newest cars and one of the nicest cars in the fleet. Boom. 2018 488 Spider, almost a $400,000 window. And if you came to spend the real money, this is what it looks like. You know, if you come to the city, visit Miami Beach, and you see a car on the road, most likely it came from here. So uh, we cater to just about anybody and everybody here. Athletes, music artists, producers, and then just your guys from your neighborhood blocks that want to come stun in Miami. I want to give a shout out to Instagram, as a matter of fact. I think if it wasn't for Instagram, we probably wouldn't be as busy as we are today. But I mean, when you come to Miami, you, you, gotta, you gotta snap, you gotta post a picture. Uh, sometimes sitting on the damn car, which I hate. Be more creative. Everybody can sit on a car. Take a picture. Get creative. I don't know, you know? Uh, but uh, yeah, thanks to Instagram, we do a lot of business. I mean, the culture, it is what it is today. You can't come to Miami and say you were in Miami unless you drove a Lambo, a Rari, a Rolls Royce. I mean, it's like going to the golf course. Everybody got to get a golf cart, you know? But we definitely understand our clients, and, and, and that's just where it's at today, you know? Uh, these guys uh, rap about the Bentley truck. Now the Bentley truck is my most popular car. It's that easy, uh, you know? We know what our competitors uh, do. We know who our competitors are. Uh, not everybody's playing clean. Not everybody's playing fair. And like I said, in the last year and a half, the business has grown. So um, we're kind of able to not worry about what everybody else is doing. But yeah, there's definitely some competitors out there and guys that are in the business that uh, probably shouldn't be in the business or just not doing the business right. A lot of these artists, a lot of people, man, they all do something to, to, to stay up till 8 in the morning and then start it all over again, you know what I'm saying? All of it done. Oh, shit, dude. You know, we about to go out, we about to go have some fun, go meet and meet up with a couple of my, my clients and shit, bro. And, uh, you know, just... This is the time that Miami turns up, 1 a.m. This is, it's just starting. Long ass night, boy, it ain't even start yet. I got one minute of sleep. One minute. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're gonna get it, you gotta work real, real hard to get it. You know, no sleep, fine. You know, a couple days, no sleep, whatever. Can't eat today, that's fine, boom. You know, MOE, money, money over everything. Money is the motivation, period. If I have 32 cars and 30 of them don't go out the whole day, I don't feel right. You know, I'm gonna go out there and, and do what I gotta do. If, if it's hand to hand, if it's face to face, yo, what's up, man? You know, uh, 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 because cars out here will, will forever be. That's Miami. 
And this is what we work for, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm 23 years old. If, if, if you would have told me two years ago I'd be sitting in a Lambo, let, let alone owning one, I would have laughed at you. The cars came out of nowhere. Never was I ever thinking about Lamborghinis or Ferraris. I always saw them, but it wasn't... I knew it was way out my range. I knew I would never drive a car like that, let alone own a car like that. And then um, it was somebody's birthday or something like that. And I called somebody and I said, hey man, what does it cost to rent one of these? Came all the way down to Miami to pick the car up and people just went nuts. It's like I was a real celebrity. It was adrenaline, bro, it was a drug. I'm like, damn, like this is awesome. This is awesome. So as much as I could, I'm renting them out, renting them out, renting them out. I started taking pictures, posting them. Once I started taking pictures, I was getting hit up. Hey man, yo, you know, nice car. Where, where can I get a car like that? And then um, I started making money because I started subleasing them. So what does that mean? I would rent a car and I would bring it to somebody else because they couldn't rent it. And then I would charge them a lot more. So it was a nice little side hustle at the time because I'm like, all right, cool. I saved up $980,000 between me, my brother, and my other partner. I got that $900,000 from music, club promotions, drugs, hustling. My company down here in Miami is South Beach Exotics. I own 50%. I partner with a private person to help me insure the cars. Really, my thing is, when they come into town, they come to me because I'm that dude that'll look out. You know what I'm saying? I'm that dude that'll, what's up, bro? You know, your insurance ain't good? All right, man, I'm gonna take that risk that nobody else would take. It's a facade, man. It's a facade. People come down here and spend thousands of dollars just to be seen and noticed, you know? People want to feel what it feels like to be a millionaire for a day, you know? And, and I can supply that. Miami's full of a lot of fakes, you know? I don't really like talking down on anybody, but it's, it's full of a lot of, a, lot, a lot of people that say they, they do what they don't, you know? Uh, we got, I just got called last minute to pull up at a video shoot, so they're shooting a little music video. Shit like this happen all the time sometimes. You know, I get a call, my boy called me, yo, what's up, man, you know, pull up. Sometimes it's sketchy and in the middle of nowhere, but it is what it is. Money talks, bullshit walks. And sometimes you pull up on people that actually got a decent amount of followers, a decent amount of clout. I mean, the cars and the music go hand in hand, so, you know. And then he becomes a potential client. Boom, add him to my clientele. I, I always wanted to do music. I started as a rapper, and that kind of picked up down here. I was kind of like a childhood star for a while. I got signed to Interscope. I got signed to them. I was signed to them for about three years. I got shelved. I'm signed with We the Best, which is uh, DJ Khaled's label. You're signed as a producer, production. I recorded a couple real big Grammy Award winning songs and uh, I'm signed to non-disclosure, so I guess I can talk about, I mean, I'm allowed to talk about what I've produced, right? You would know the specifics about your non-disclosure agreement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, I, got, I got paid really good in the beginning. I got paid really good. Um, as the label grew and um, got a lot more exposure, they just hired new people, I guess. Um, not that they were better than me, just that I'm used when they need me. The money that I have now, now it's all off cars. Everything that I have now, every dollar I make now is all off cars. Since 2015, I've made about $4.55 million just off exotic cars. Running to celebrities, running to regular people, pulling up to music videos. We've done uh, videos. Um, with every, pretty much every rapper you can think of. And I want you to meet the second Matt, our uh, in-house photographer. I call him the shooter. Matt's kind of the dick in the office, so he kind of gets along with the, uh, the rap artists. So <laughs> for that reason, I think they understand each other. I kind of do have that reputation as <laughs> being the one that has the most attitude here. And then when he's doing a late night pickup and then the car doesn't make it back to the store, 
<laughs> All you have to do is track it, and you'll find it at the local strip club. Because <laughs> that's where he spends most of his, his after hours. But in his defense, he does meet a lot of people out there. He, he socializes and networks while he's out there. So, you know, he does bring us in some good clients from there, too. You gotta so. spend money to make money. Yeah. Maddie is the night crawler. Yeah, the i going out for one day, and then the Maserati is, um, yeah, he's just coming back to the office, or I don't know if he's taking it home or what the fuck's he doing. I don't know. I'll, I'll figure it out. All right, so we just got to Wynwood. We left the shop. This is where everyone meets up, pretty much meeting up. That's how I first got into the car scene, was hanging out with all these guys. If it wasn't for the regular cars, the tuner cars, I would probably never be in this exotic car scene. You got? You guys ready? Vamanos. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I raced them. I go race cars all the time. I mean, I guess you can say I like speeding. I've gotten my few shares of tickets in these cars, which is kind of an awkward conversation having with my boss. Like, hey, I got a ticket in the Ferrari. Mm, well, yeah, you know how that goes. My boss might hate it, but I take the cars with me to either the strip club or I go to the clubs with some clients. But if I'm not in the car, then they probably won't take me serious. It's, it's kind of a lifestyle, whether it's Little Pump to the, your local D-boy in the neighborhood. They see you in the car, they want to ask you a question. Man, how are you driving that car? And I don't lie to them. I tell them, hey, look, it's a rental. If you want to rent one, here's my number. And they just, and from there, there, I got a new client. Yeah, I own this car outright. I got, in my name, in my company's name, I got about 16 cars. In total, between everybody, all of my partners, we got 32 cars. We're about to go to uh, Mr. Jones and go kick it with uh, Buster Rhymes and my boy Cuba Link. It's important for me to come out because I network. You know, I meet a lot of people that I don't know through the people I know. So, especially the celebrities and different things, the nightlife out here, it's, it's about how you pull up, you know what I mean, to these clubs. So, you know, I say, hey man, if you ever need cars, you ever need something, I can do it. If I'm out on the street and I run into whoever, Future, Lil Wayne, Buster Rhymes, Kent Jones, whoever, I know all of those guys. You know, I know a lot of the people. My relation, I'm still building a lot and that's why I go out. I go out to network, you know, to meet these people. You wanna know who I came with? You wanna know if we're dangerous? You ain't hanging with no strangers. Do you wanna be famous? You think that people are desperate for me? Of course. People do crazy things. It's all social media now. That's it. Social media is the biggest bullshit that's out there. These celebrities are nothing like what you think they are. Somebody opened up your life and they said, we want to get to know the real you. If, if, if somebody really wanted to get to know the real me, I want to know the real you. I, uh, I want to know the real you, bro. I'm not a good person, bro. I'm not. I just want to be blunt. Have you been finessing me? Part of it, yeah. I mean, this game is, a lot of it's fake. Is this actually your, really your whip, to be honest? Royalty Exotics owns this whip. I work with them real close. I make a lot, I make a lot of money for, for being 23 years old. Is it all clean money? No. Have I, have I robbed a lot of people? Yeah. Not gunpoint, not violently. My mind is something that never stops working. I've burned so many good bridges being selfish. Do I drive exotic cars every day? Yes. Do I rent exotic cars out illegally? Yes. Do I get to go and chill with celebrities every day? Yes. Am I a celebrity myself? No. Maybe that's just what it is. I don't know. I just want to be liked, still to this day. 
I'm a nobody that wants to be a somebody, I guess. But I'm going to be a somebody, with or without you guys, with or without the world. I'm going to be successful, period, in whatever it is I want to do. And I'm sorry, I'm sorry for, for uh, making this harder than it had to be, I guess. competitive business and sometimes the people that we're competing against uh, they shouldn't even be on the court with us and I know a little bit about that because I didn't start the business uh, the way I'm running it today I opened up a dealership first put a temp tag on the car or a dealer tag and sent it on its way no trackers but yeah back then I didn't know what I was doing sending it out uh, not verifying insurance you know, I'm not gonna throw shade or stop anybody from doing it, but there's definitely guys out there that we see uh, on their Instagram, you know, saw that car rental company, and they're sitting there with four or five cars that they got from whoever, and they're trying to build the fleet off. You know, I'd started just like that, so, you know, here we are today with, with something real. Sometimes you see people get into business for the wrong reasons, but uh, can't blame them.